Guys, this is Moss from Ion Cydia, and I just wanted to mention that if you want to learn about awesome new Cydia tweaks every single day, then you should probably go hit that awesome little subscribe button down at the bottom. So, let's get to the tweak. Alright guys, so today I'll be talking about another tweak called Sub Icons, and they're so cool that they changed this O to a zero. So, yeah, let's get to the tweak. So as you can see here, when I go ahead and shake my device, I have this whole thing pop up on the right and it gives you up to six icons that you can tap on and, and, and instantly go to. All you have to do is swipe back and all of a sudden it's gone. Now it does include different activation methods using activator so what a lot of people like to do is use the feature in which they swipe from the right to the left and it appears but I prefer just shaking my device. Um, there are also a few features such as naming your icons so when I shake my device you can see that they're named normally but if I were to go on my first icon which is Twitter and call it tweet ing is cool let's see how much of that would show up there you go tweeting is cool um, it's a simple tweak and it works in every single app. It does not crash on my iPod 4G, which is very convenient. And right now I have Twitter, Calculator, Activator, um, App Store, Battery Doctor, and Camera. You can go ahead and change those to the app of your liking. CD tweak, and this one is called Luna. What an interesting name for such a simple tweak. So, as you can see here, when I slide down from my notification center, I can easily enable Do Not Disturb by swiping all the way down and releasing. And there, you, at the top of my status bar, you can see that Do Not Disturb has been enabled. Now, you can also enable and disable this directly from your lock screen. So, I'll go ahead and show you that. So, as you can see here, I'm on my lock screen now. And if I were to hold the clock down and swipe downward, all of a sudden, I can get rid of Do Not Disturb or I can enable it once again. It's quite the awesome tweak. It was invented by Sentry and a few others. You should go follow them on Twitter. And other than that, if you use the Do Not Disturb feature a lot, this is a very, very efficient and useful tweak. And this one is called IPEQ. And it seems like a bunch of random letters combined, which is why I put the name in the title, if you can't find it. But yes, those letters do stand for something, if you're wondering. So, this tweak is quite simple. You just go play a song, and then you see this little arrow key pointing to the right side, on uh, right next to your volume slider. So, I'll go ahead and click on that, and a whole equalizer should show up, just like the one in iTunes, but a lot more complex. A tweak, and this one is called Piano Passcode, and it replaces your uh, normal default passcode with, well, a piano. And yes, you can go ahead and tap on these, um, but I won't go ahead and do that at the moment because I'm recording my voice. But if I were to do that, there's seven of these, and I would press the per first two two times, and sound effects would play. And it's basically a piano. You could go ahead and make yourself a different tune. I'll show you that in about one second. And that's how you unlock your device. Um, the default is literally going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, all the way down. Like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. If I were to tap on these keys, my recording would stop. But let's go ahead and unlock my device. Alright guys, so this tweak is called Mini Player. And as you can see, as I swipe left, this Mini Player appears. What do you know? And this allows you to see the album art, pause, play, next, the usual, and it also gives you the song name if you tap right there. And right now I'm playing, nothing, in, well, nothing is playing at the moment, but if I play a song, I could just go ahead and click that. And as soon as I press play or skip a song, I can shove it right back to the right, and that's about it. You can also use this on the lock screen, and it does not really affect anything. Um, also, you can move this around anywhere you want, so say you always slide to the right from right here, you don't want that affecting your page turn. Um, this does show up in every single app, and yes, you can hide it if your music is paused. So as soon as you go ahead and play a certain song, 
it will all of a sudden appear. Um, it's quite the simple tweak. It's very convenient. Um, other than that, I don't really think there's anything much about this to say. It's called emphasize, and that's literally what it does. It sort of emphasizes the color of your iPod, and if you ask me, it changes your iPod's mood. And it affects most all your stock applications and most of your normal used applications. So I'll give you an example. So right now I am in the settings application. I clicked on emphasize and when I click on default, it gives me a bunch of color options. First there is app default and it changes instantly. I love how you don't have to respring for the changes to take effect. There is another tweak that is called, uh, I don't think I have it anymore, but I think it's called accentify and it does a similar thing, but you have to respring every single time you change the color. And that annoyed me, and I'm happy that someone came out with this one. So as I was saying, there's iOS default, iOS standard, which isn't that much different. There is graphite, and this you see in your music application. There's butter, which is sort of like a darkish yellow. Orange, chocolate, chameleon, that's cool. S palm, sky blue, oh, I think I like this one the best. Scarlet red, fur dianian. Uh, steel, olive, sienna, watercolor, and a bunch of other ones that you can try out. This one is exceptional. Um, it is by far one of the best city tweaks I've seen not only this year but in a long time. And yes, it is called Velox, and yes, it takes everything on your iPod to the next level. Alright, so you might be wondering what makes this tweak so amazing? And basically, a developer looked at the normal traditional folder and he was like, whoa. I can take this and put a mini application directly inside of it, and that's exactly what he did. So let's start off with our Photos application. So when you swipe down or up on the Photos application, let me just show you that again, this time I swept upward, it automatically brings you to this list of things in which you can share your last photo taken on Twitter, Facebook, mail it, or even copy it. Now, this goes for most of the stock applications, except a handful such as videos, clock, calculator, but the developers are not done with this tweak yet. Soon enough, there will be certain tweaks for those as well. The second to last city tweak is called Grabby, and it allows you to change the icon of your grab uh, camera grabber, and allows you to add a lot of toggles. So I can go to my music application, slide over, phone, slide over messages, slide over, calendar, and of course I can still go to camera. I think this tweak is awesome, it is sort of still in development, but I bet if you search this tweak called Grabby Online, you should be able to find the repo for it. I do not know whether it has been released for the public in the Big Boss repo yet. The final tweak I'll be showing you guys is called Jelly Lock, and it is basically sort of a Jelly Bean Android iOS sort of combination lock screen. Slide over to camera, and I'll have my camera. I can unlock my device, or I can add up to three shortcuts on where I want to go. So if I were to slide over on this, unlock my device, it would automatically go to Instagram. You should go check this out. It is called Jelly Lock, an interesting name. Alright guys, that's going to be it for my video. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, please go ahead and click that like button. And if you have any questions, um, there's a comment section below, or you can message me. Um, I make City of Tweak videos every single day, so you should go ahead and click that awesome little subscribe button. Um, if you ask me, that button should be a lot bigger. And um, that's going to be it. That is me logging off.